lot had been uh, a lot had been taken a lot had been taken from me you know it had been really been violently ripped from me uh, and I had not had a choice in that uh, but that there was actually some comfort in having the choice uh, to to fight I do feel better uh, because of it and uh, I've come out you know better on the other end uh, stronger and, and with a much uh, much better perspective. This week on Veteran Outdoors, the historic Wild Ranch in Central Texas is one of the state's oldest and grandest working cattle ranches. Today it is known for the most premier exotic game hunts in the nation. This week we're surprising Marine Captain Ryan Volton with one of these unbelievable hunts. Combat Marine Outdoors joins us as we experience everything the Wyo has to offer. Several years ago, a small group of friends, both veterans and civilians, banded together to make a difference and to pay tribute to our country's veterans. The mission was simple, to honor our country's wounded veterans' service and sacrifice by surprising them with dream adventures. These are their adventures. These are their stories. This is their show. Veteran Outdoors, giving back to those who gave. Veteran Outdoors, presented by Ambush Firearms. Don't just hunt, ambush. Polaris, see the hardest working, smoothest riding off-road vehicle now at your local dealer. Charlie Bravo Aviation, freedom in private aviation. Anti-monkey butt powder, they cover our butts, let's help cover theirs and U.S. Optics, engineered for superior performance. I'm excited. Hey there. Hi, How's it going? Captain Volton? Yep. Cody Hurt, you ready for uh, your big doe hunt weekend? Oh, yeah, I think so. Yeah? Well, I'm yeah. actually going to come clean with you. I'm the host of a television show called Veteran Outdoors. Okay. What we do is we fulfill the dream, uh, your, your dream hunting adventures. And a while back, a couple of good buddies of yours submitted your application to be a guest on our show. Oh, so, well, thank you. Thank you. Well, you're welcome. This weekend, we're actually taking you out to the historic Wyo Ranch outside of Kerrville, Texas. And uh, we're going to take you on your dream hunting trip. Oh, well, that sounds terrific. A little, bit, a little bit better than a doe hunt, huh? Yeah, I, <laughs> I, I was not expecting this. Thank you. Well, cool. This is terrific. Well, we've got the, uh, the pickups over here, and they're waiting for us out at the range, so we'll get you loaded up and head that way. All right. When Ryan was injured two and a half years ago, it changed our lives in a way that we never would have imagined. It's been a rough road. It's been, it's been a challenge, and uh, he's had to take so many steps to get to the level of independence that he's at now. We never could have done that if it hadn't have been for the support of friends and family and, and even the Marine Corps. And Ryan's had the opportunity to go from nearly losing his life to getting back everything and, and sometimes even more just with his attitude and the way that he looks at life now. Having a serious injury um, limits you in ways that that sometimes seem like they can't be overcome. And having an opportunity like this just gives him back some freedom that, that he might have lost otherwise. Our kids have been through so much and he's been through so much and, and we've had a lot to overcome, but we've been blessed that we have a strong family and that we have so much love for each other and that, um, and that we just never gave up. We were never gonna quit. This is gonna be a lot of fun. The ranch that we're going to, you have your free reign to shoot whichever animal you want. So we're gonna to get to see you know, black buck antelope, fallow deer, axis deer, white tail, and as they come up, we'll talk about the animals, um, if they're trophies for their species, and it's gonna be completely your decision. So this is gonna be a lot of fun. Well, we've got the guys out there, they're waiting for you and excited to see you. So we'll get you loaded up and we'll head out. The historic Wyo Ranch in Central Texas is one of the state's oldest and grandest working cattle ranches. Today it is known for the most premier exotic game hunting 
in the nation. Cody Hurt. Cody, I'm Tom Stein. Very Good nice to meet you. Hello, Ryan. Nice Tom to meet you. Good to meet you. We're, have y'all out here? We're excited. Good. We're so excited. I'm Tom. And I'm Jamie. And uh, we're out at the Wild Ranchlands. And it, it's, a, it's a small parcel of land that used to be part of the original Wild Ranch. And we have uh, lots of exotic animals and uh, lots of just beautiful animals that you get to, to see here that you don't get to see in other parts of the country or other parts of the state. When Veteran Outdoors returns, Brian gets a visit from one of America's favorite hunters. Closed captioning is provided by Source One Distributors, committed to the mission. Anti-Monkey Butt Powder understands the freedoms we have as Americans and supports Veteran Outdoors. They've donated thousands of items to our troops. And during this season of Veteran Outdoors, they will donate $1 to support our program, plus in an item to our troops for every bottle of powder purchased on their website. As someone who spends a lot of time outdoors, I know that chapped, irritated skin can ruin your day. Anti-monkey butt powder helps you stay comfortable all day long. So remember, the troops are out covering our butts. Let's help cover theirs. Only Polaris delivers the ultimate combination of power, suspension, and agility. The only trail-capable side-by-side, Ranger Razor. The only sport performance side-by-side, -side, Razor S. The only four-seat sport, Razor 4, and the only extreme performance side-by-side, -side, the 88 horsepower, Razor XP. Razor Sharp Performance only from Polaris. Huge rebates and low financing are available right now during the Polaris XP sales event. I'm a hardworking American, raising a family, helping my neighbors, and appreciating the men and women in our armed forces. I also happen to sell private planes. Sure, there are celebrities who jet around the world, but 90% of the private aircraft in the U.S. are flown by small and mid-sized businesses. Companies that use planes to get to remote locations or respond in a crisis enjoy profitability that shows what a competitive advantage private aviation can be. A big thanks to the men and women who defend that freedom. This segment of Veteran Outdoors is brought to you by Sarasport, the ultimate hydration and performance drink. Welcome back to Veteran Outdoors. We're at the Y.O. Ranch this week with Ryan Bolton. We called our friends over at Game Guard and uh, they sent some, some South Texas camo for you. Oh man. Uh, they've got a shirt, hat, pants, jacket, gloves, pretty much everything you need for the weekend. Oh wow. Well, thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> it's, it's our pleasure. On, uh, <laughs> we we knew you didn't have a gun, so we got uh, we got you set up for the gun. Oh, okay. This is your gun. You can. Oh, this is this is mine. Take it with you. It's yours. Oh. <laughs> wow, <man. laughs> oh. Thank you. I don't know what uh, I don't know what else to say. Yeah. I mean, I uh, I didn't expect that. I thought it was just for me to use for this weekend. Well, it's for you to use forever. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully you get an Absolutely. opportunity to use it over and over again. No, no, this entire weekend's about thanking you for, you know, everything that you've done, your service, your sacrifice, you know, and also your family's sacrifice, you know, they've, they've done a lot, you know, thing, and it's, it's all of our way to say, of saying thank you to you. To drive. It's a drive. Okay, drive perfect. About 15 minutes to the range. We got them season passes for Fiesta Texas. Oh, awesome. Right? We can't do enough for the for the servicemen and what they've given for for us. We don't know them and uh, they don't know us, but every day they're out there serving to to protect us and take care of us. How are you, sir? Cody Hurt. Cody, good to see you, Cody. Nice Where's to meet you. Guy? Brad Sturt, man. Very good to see you, man. Nice to meet you. So we, when we're hunting, I like to. I, and I come from the old recurve longbow days of the '50s and '60s, where you just never had a shot. So I still, I still have the attitude I'm catching up here. <laughs> Enjoy your 
much. All right. Thank, Thank you, you sir. Nice it was nice to meet you, much. sir. Situation update, um, we just got in, uh, saw, saw a nice uh, Saika and, uh, and uh, had a shot at a, at a, at a wild pig, uh, but uh, no shots fired, nothing, nothing killed yet. When I woke up at Brook Army Medical Center, um, you know, after my injuries, you know, they were, they were telling me, you know, repeatedly, uh, uh, where I was, my accident, and the injury sustained. Uh, I sustained uh, third-degree burns to 25% uh, of my body, my my arms, uh, neck, head, and face, and uh, my left leg was amputated below the knee. Uh, I also had uh, severe uh, fractures on the uh, metacarpals of my of my left hand uh, that resulted in. Uh, Pins and, and splinting. Uh, initially, when when I was first uh, when I was first injured, uh, it, it definitely became a team effort right off the bat. The the other the other pilots that were flying me out of there were were at their best that night, and I needed them to be, and they needed to be in order to get me where I needed to go. More surprises in store when Veteran Outdoors returns. What started out as a small local project has grown into a nationwide movement. It started just as an idea. The boot campaign was created to generate American awareness about the needs of our military men and women returning home from combat. I said, you probably have the best idea I've ever heard of when it comes to support and military. You know, take a moment out of your busy day and put yourself in their shoes for a second. Find out how you can help support the boot campaign by logging on to bootcampaign.com and get your boots on. Veteran Outdoors is proud to have country musician Kyle Park as a lifetime member and sponsor of this segment of VO. Definitely with the, the uh, clouds kind of burning off this afternoon, the sun came out, clear skies, beautiful weather, you know, beautiful country, uh, and, you know, good, uh, good scenery, so uh, it, was, it was a success. You know, just because of that alone. Hey Ryan, my mom has a company called Love Hurts, and what she does is she makes what we call a, a veteran outdoors hero cross for each of our guests. She looks at your bio and finds out your hobbies and your passions, and she comes up with a cross that's unique to you and serves as a reminder that somebody was watching over you on the day that you were wounded. And uh, it also serves as a reminder of of your life ahead and this, this trip and, and everything that's important to you in life. So I want to present you with what we call the Veteran Outdoors Hero Cross. I want to thank oh. you for everything. Oh, thank you. This is, uh, this is beautiful. Thank you. Well, you're welcome. It means everything to her to be able to make these for you too. So. Oh, well, it's, this is very special. Like I said, I, I mean, I've been struggling all week all weekend to find the words, you know, and this is just one more thing. Uh, yeah, that is, that's really, that's really touching. All you have to say is you're, you're welcome. Because uh, this is, this is us saying thank you. So you just say you're welcome. Say you're welcome. <laughs> it's very humbling. Yeah, I know that it's special for you. Yeah, it's, uh, these weekends mean uh, a lot to us. Yeah, it, it, uh, it, it, it really, it, mean, it means a lot. Well, we won't. We want you to know too, you know, you're part of a growing family that's a veteran outdoors, you're part of our alumni, you know, the guys that are always on the trips, you know, the, the guys that host it, you know, the guys behind the scenes, and the guys that own the ranch, that's all part of your family now and, you know, you're always welcome on every trip in the future and you're part of another brotherhood, you know, and your family keeps growing each entire time that we do something special like this and, and you know, we just can't, can't say thanks enough. 
So well, thank you for everything. We're at the Y.O. Ranch this week, just outside of Kerrville, Texas. We're down here with nine wounded Marines. These Marines are from the Combat Marine Outdoors program. And what these guys are doing this weekend is they're actually out on a meat hunt. Brooks Army Medical Center puts on a huge barbecue every year for all the wounded veterans and their families to come out and attend. Well, that meat has to come from somewhere, and so they send out nine Marines to uh, actually go out to the Y.O. Ranch and harvest as many animals as, as possible or as they need to to manage the land. And that meat is what, uh, what they use during the barbecue. So it should be a great time. We're gonna get to spend the entire weekend with nine of, uh, of America's finest, and this should be a blast. On behalf of the Wyo Ranch, my name is Alex Trad, and I want to welcome everyone. Um, this is uh, as much fun for us as hopefully it is for you guys. Debbie Hagebush is really the ringleader. I just kind of help her. And she puts together the uh, hunt on the landowner section. Basically, we've got the ranch here, and you guys will be going on the, the uh, back of the property with individual landowners, and that's how the hunt will uh, take place. Okay, uh, Ryan, 